I want to talk to those individuals who've heard this phrase with exactly this attitude. Well, you have changed. If that is you, stick around for this message in this video. I'm Connie Jo Holmes. I'm the founder of BU to be Full Hypnosis and Coaching. My mission with my company is to teach individuals how to confidently and courageously move from reacting to life to owning your life. And to me, when you can learn and understand two things, this will significantly help you to own your life. And the first one is, is to know that all of life is impermanence. Absolutely nothing is permanent. Things are continually evolving, changing, and growing. And the second part of that is, if you have been the recipient of that message, you have changed with attitude and judgment, I want you to know that you can actually congratulate yourself. And when you can truly look and receive that phrase for the compliment that it is, that's a great way to learn how to own your life. So, so what do I mean by all of this exactly? And why would somebody in an accusatory way say you have changed? Well, for those people in my life who I've heard that from before, they um, just have not changed themselves. Um, not that they won't or they can't, it's just that they haven't quite yet. Um, so a lot of times it comes across as accusatory and judging, and it might be, but it could be because they're almost holding a mirror up to themselves, judging themselves for not having changed as well. Um, I also want to share with you, you know, as I said earlier, the entire world is impermanence. And if you think about the four seasons, that alone, if you just think about the four seasons and about how in 12 months, how much can change just within mother nature, you know, look at the tree in your backyard and look at that tree and think about it over the last 12 months and how much that has changed. The same with planting a garden, how much it changes over time. Find that bird's nest in that tree in your backyard and think about how that bird's nest has changed. One, was it even there? Um, you know, you see the you know mother in that nest all the time feeding those babies and then all of a sudden the nest is empty because the babies grew and flew away. It's just an example of mother nature and how, how it just supports the phrase of impermanence and why we really need to embrace that. But anyways, back to how you may have changed as a, as a person. I need to say first and foremost, you know, when I'm saying change, I am talking about it in the meaning of growth and evolution and really changing into a better version of yourself, you know, a better version of yesterday's you, you know, growing into the person that you are intended to be or the person that you are becoming. Change is not about, you know, being that Jekyll and Hyde um, or being that shapeshifter chameleon in any way. It's not about that. I would really like to encourage you to think about, you know, no matter how old you are, if you think about yourself today and then yourself, maybe let's take you back to high school or college days, you know, I am going to guess that your core values, you at the core of you, are still you, you know? It's just that some of your perspectives or beliefs or interest or different things like that, that those may have changed and that's okay. You know, that's why a lot of times when people talk about their core values, you know, even if you might have a handful of core values, um, and I've done videos on this. I encourage people to have between three and six core values. Um, but anyways, so even though you might have a, a couple of your core values that never change throughout your life, you might have some though that do change and alter a little bit. And the reason why is it could very well be, be because of the stage of life that you're in right now. Now, I know as a business owner, I had had core values for a long time. I had six of them. And I recently, because of an online course I was offering, we were talking about values. And I thought, you know, now's a good time for me to reevaluate my values. And in doing so, I found that, I think, I'm going from memory here, but I think three of them stayed the same. And then three of them switched up. 
Now, did that mean that I completely lost those original values? No, it just meant that these new values speak to who I am better for the person that I am right now in my life. All right. And so I just shared that with you about values, just as another explanation about us always evolving and changing and growing. And so when that person might look to you and say, you've changed, well, you know, maybe they're saying that from a part of, you know, they don't like this specific change or maybe selfishly, you know, by you changing a certain way, it affects them. You know, so one example of this, and it's just the first one is coming to the top of my mind. So probably about 10 years ago, I loved beer and I just loved a good, hearty, meaty beer. And I remember my refrigerator was just loaded with just such a beautiful selection of beer because I just enjoyed having, um, and it wasn't about drinking beer to get drunk. It was about just drinking beer to enjoy what I enjoyed about it. Well, you know what? That was as recently as like 10 or 12 years ago. Well, now I don't really drink beer anymore. I actually don't really drink too much anymore, period. Um, so that's a change. And it's changed because, you know, my tastes have changed. My focus in life has changed. And also, quite honestly, my body has changed. So I actually react not too great when I drink beer anymore. And so that's an example of changing. Well, depending on who you talk to, that could be a really good change or it could be a negative change. Like if I was with somebody who enjoyed that beer drinking part of me because they, you know, had somebody to, you know, go have a drink with or whatever, well, if all of a sudden I'm not, you know, drinking beer anymore, well, that negatively affects them, you know? So that's another thing I want to say is if whoever that person is that says you've changed and again says it in such a cutting kind of judging way, Think about your the impact to them of your change. Does that mean that you don't change? No, not at all. You have got to be true to you, have to be true to you. Um, but you just need to be mindful of who's saying you changed and how it does affect them. Um, but also in closing, I just want to say that change is a good thing because change represents how your life is expanding. I'm going to say expanding. And the reason I say that is because, you know, the more books you read, the more movies you might watch and, you know, have new ideas or something like that, the more documentaries that you watch, the more podcasts you listen to, the more new and different friends that you have that might introduce new experiences to you or new perspectives or if you get deep in conversation with people and people are sharing with you their beliefs and it just kind of opens you know, a new thought pattern or a new idea to you, those are all examples about you know, new things coming into your life and then those could um, create a change in you. You know, um, like I know a lot of times people talk about, um, and I know this has happened for me in real life, um, when my kids were little, unfortunately, I was not the most patient mom at all. If I could rewind the clock, trust me, that would be something I would change. Um, but I was not patient at all when in my earlier years when, when my kids were little. However, as a grandma now, am I like ultra patient? Yes, I am. So that's an example of of changing. And to me, that's an example of changing positively. Um, but one of the reasons why I did is because, you know, like the older you get, the more you realize that life is short. Um, also, the older I get, the more I realize that certain things in life can just wait, you know, because um, those certain things were what used to make me uptight, you know, when my kids were little. Like, as I'm talking, I have a very specific example I remember when my kids were little and I was doing laundry. I only did laundry like one day a week when they were little. And so I had, you know, quite a, a massive amount to do. And I remember, you know, kids at one point, they always want to help you do laundry, you know. And so I remember so vividly, like, you know, grabbing like a wet sock out of the washer, giving it to my child and then allowing them to put it into the dryer. And I only, this is terrible to say, but I only like allowed them to do that with a couple of garments because I was like, 
in my mind, and I may have said it a couple times too, but in my mind, I was like, hurry, hurry, you know, I got to get this done because I've got to go, you know, uh, pack lunches for tomorrow. You know, tomorrow's Monday and the school week is starting. You know, I'm sure that my mind was like thinking of all the 25 million other things I had to do. And therefore that was causing me to be very impatient. Um, well, as I aged and, you know, just getting older and stuff, I realized who cares? Who cares if I don't get all the laundry done on that Sunday? Who cares if I stay up an extra five minutes making lunches? Who cares if they even have a sack lunch versus I give them a few bucks to, you know, buy lunch? You know, that's something that comes with age and wisdom, and that's how I changed. So therefore, now with my grandkids, oh my God, I don't care if it takes an hour. Here, honey, you, you help me with this laundry because you're clearly getting enjoyment out of it. That's just a, an example for me personally about how I've changed, but also why. I have changed, why that evolution in me may have happened. So anyways, I kind of went a little bit off there with that story, but in closing, I just want to share with you, if you have been the recipient of you have changed and that was delivered in a very judgmental way, pay close attention to who said that to you, because I guarantee you, your change, your evolution, um, might be negatively affecting them in some way. And more than likely, more than likely, that how it's affecting them, quite honestly, is selfish for them. Um, and so if that's the case, then right there, you know, kind of see it for what it is. Um, and then, um, but then also, in addition to that, it's like, it's very natural to grow and evolve and change. And quite honestly, you want to. I cannot remember where I heard this first, and it was on some podcast or something, but somebody is quoted as saying, if you are not embarrassed about the person you were a year ago, you have not grown enough. And to me, that's what change is all about, growing and evolving. So, all right. So to those of you who've heard you have changed, I am here to applaud you. Congratulations and continue on that growth game. Okay. I hope that was helpful. If it was, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you do need any help from me with my services of health coaching, life coaching, or hypnosis, please check the link out below and schedule a free 30-minute consultation with me. Okay. In the meantime, remember, be you to be full. All right, take care.